<sighs> Hi everyone, Sexy Guy Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Panda Bear album, Buoys. This is the newest full-length album from singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, producer, Mr. Panda Bear. Known for his time in the groundbreaking neo-psych outfit, Animal Collective, Panda Bear has also built up a pretty impressive solo discography for himself over the years. However, I've never considered myself a hardcore Animal Collective fanboy, and maybe because of this I've never really been as into the solo material as many other people have been, outside of Panda Bear's person pitch, and of course Deacon's sleep cycle. That is a sweet record. And I didn't exactly go into buoys with super high hopes, especially since the lead single off of the record, Dolphin, in my opinion, is such a train wreck, with its obnoxious water sound effects, the stale percussive sequences that endlessly repeat like water torture, as well as some very goofy vocals. It's like the track is set to a tempo that forces Panda Bear to sing in slow motion. But surprisingly enough, beyond the singles, deeper into the record, this album actually has a lot of weird endearing qualities to it that I like. Overall, Buoys is not nearly as soullessly repetitive or as mind-numbing as Panda Bear's past couple of releases. Much of the material on this record feels like it's being presented in a pretty raw form. It's not nearly as dolled up and washed out and labored over. It's also a pretty organic listen to it feels almost as if everything I'm hearing is occurring live right there in the moment. And even with the very limited sound palette Panda Bear is working with on this one, he does still create a very strong sense of place on these tracks. I feel like I'm existing in whatever weird psychedelic space or plane Panda Bear is also in as I'm listening to him perform these cuts. Whether it be on the song Cranked, which features these cavernous delays just swallowing these lo-fi searing laser synthesizers. These sounds are just continually crashing into each other and the intensity of that only increases as the song progresses. The song Crescendo does a much better job of working with a lot of the same water sounds the opening track Dolphin did. The track's glitchy sounds and heavy sub bass gives me the feeling of, of being submerged. This track is also set against a much better song than Dolphin 2, though it's that's not saying much. Even if I'm not super in love with this record, what I do like about it more than some of Panda Bear's other albums is that it feels like he's actively trying to engage the listener with some really creative and live sound play instead of lulling them into a stupor. And under a lot of this sound play, he's bringing actual songs, not just indulgent navel gazing set to a couple of never-ending chord changes. I think if it were played at a faster tempo with more straightforward backing instrumentation, the track Token could be a, a song that appeals to a lot of fans outside the Animal Collective camp. And at its core, I think the title track of this thing has a driving, folky quality to it with really surreal lyrics. It almost reminds me of like a Neutral Milk Hotel track, with Panda Bear obviously coming to a much different aesthetic conclusion with the whooshing waves of distorted noise, the enveloping bass, the pitter-patter percussion, and the guitar just soaked in delay. Meanwhile, the track Inner Monologue also feels like a throwback, but to a time of folk music in the late 60s, early 70s, like just very lonely balladry with a lot of atmosphere and sad instrumental accompaniment, a strange sample of like a crying girl, some subtly droning layers, what sounds like a, a sad warped reed instrument playing out in the background and some weirdly soulful vocal harmonies too. And that's another thing I should mention about this LP. A lot of Panda Bear singing, it's a little unlike what fans might be used to on previous records, whether it be solo material or Animal Collective stuff, because his voice, while it is soaked in delay, it's not really being covered or veiled in any walls or layers or anything. It's very naked, it's very straightforward. He does engage in some very weird, intentionally weird vocal inflections. Uh, many of which sound kind of contorted and bad, to the point where I do think it ruins some of these tracks slightly. However, there is part of me that does appreciate the weird vocal risks he's trying to take on this record, and there are tracks that uh, the sound play and the song quality is so good that whatever weirdo vocal stuff Panda Bear might be doing, it kind of shines past that. Or I just ended up embracing or enjoying the weird, quirky vocal qualities of a certain track. So by virtue of those vocals and some of the sonic experiments on this record, I don't think Buoys is going to be 
for all Panda Bear and Animal Collective fans. This is very much going to be uh, a project that appeals to a very small group within that crowd. I could especially see moments like the closing track on here rubbing fans the wrong way with uh, multiple sounds in the mix being set on these different disorienting delays that don't quite sync up and as the instrumentation intensifies the mix only gets more dizzying. So there are some bits of this record that are challenging and there are honestly some low points as well. Tracks where you either have a boring tune or a stale progression. The song Master is one of the longest and most painfully redundant tracks on the entire record. I mean I'm glad overall Bowie sees Panda Bear drifting away a little bit from that headache-inducing repetition, but uh, there are still some moments here where he seems to continue embracing that. I also like many of the romantic and slice-of-life lyrics throughout this record. There are quite a few moments where Panda Bear is referencing uh, reconnecting and turning off your phone screen, essentially. Living more in the moment, I guess. Overall, I thought this was a very fun, trippy, little alternative folk psych record. With, sure, some glaring flaws, but also a lot of character and a lot of creativity. I'm feeling a decent to strong six on this thing. Tran, Zishin, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Panda Bear, Buoys, forever.